my co-host Sammy J. What up? What's good? Beverly Trill, go down with that shit. Your girlfriend's favorite producer. Big Jesus! I am Sammy J. Hey, my other co-host right here. Hey, SM. Big SM. Follow me on Twitter, SMRC. What's good? Alright, we're gonna start this off with our first battle. Rap it to my right, introduce yourself. Yo, Faded. On the left, we got June, M O M B, A G C. Okay. Down. Down, down. Everybody respect the MC. Respect the MC. Alright, shows off camera. 60 seconds on June. Just rap, bro. See, I found out about this battle. I was like, oh shit, son, it's on. Started hearing the Rocky theme song. Taping my palms through the sweatsuit on. Jogging in place, cracking the mace. See, at the end of the day, I was eating lightning and crapping thunder. Came ready to ball battle Apollo Creed. But it looked like I'm up against Mayweather. He trying to figure out how to read. <laughs> See, I heard one of your tracks and gave it a C grading. That style you placing is like your, Ill, not, like your name. Not ill, but quickly fading. See, that whack ass track you had on YouTube had like 50 views. And I guarantee they all of you and your crew. <laughs> Talking about that refuse to lose. How, yo, how come I can listen to one of your one of your albums? How come I can listen to one brother Lynch album and tell where you got your whole style from? Now this battle I'll let you know the outcome. I'll shine, I'll rhyme, and I'll win. Red lipstick would have looked perfect with that outfit. <laughs> See if what I'm saying about your lifestyle makes you so furious. You must have been considering, or at least looking forward to getting what Carrie gets at the end of that horror flick. And you're standing in the right area for a bloodbath. See, this is fun rap. Talking that shit. Ain't got a gun rap. Ha! <laughs> Yo, I could tell this guy, he's a no creative dude. I mean, look at him. You can't think of a better battle rap name than June. He probably has a brother named Julio and a sister named May that probably never lays with the same fucking dude and judging by the way you fucking look, he probably ends it. So what I doubt that he probably laid with it too. He's like this, he's like, so what we were meant to be? When I get in the sheets before I get in between, I make sure that she shaved the pubes. You stuck her two fingers up her anus and poop. It was wasted, so puke dripped down your hand and you ain't like poop. Then she was it and you remain it on you. For most people, that's fucking sick. But this guy trained his brain's imagination to make himself think he's drinking some juice. Don't get mad, blame or accuse anyone. If they were to sue me, honey, you take to a room, have they their pools, your baby go too. Fuck the thing is that you didn't give him to her, she gave him to you. No. I'm gonna fucking slap this fag. This fag actually thinks that he stands a chance against so fatal in a battle rap. Motherfucker, you think you fucked up in the head? I'm fucked up in the head. I'm as fucked, I'm as fucked up as the judges that were signed up to fucking judge the battle between Rack Point and Candle Wax and mad at the fans that said demanded, demanded to give him back his cash. Hashtag RDR, motherfuckers. <laughs> You can already tell you that, sir. You feel played already. You want to cry. Round two, Mark Minnow Jr. Oh, this is Yeah, at first I didn't get your name. Il Fade must stand for lightweight. See, feeling saucy after half a Tecate. Boy can't hang, so if that's not it, then you must pick the name with option. Il Fade with the T stands for... Il Fade with the T stands for your fate means... Subject to doom or disaster. You probably never heard of doom, and is more likely to hear about June after this battle. See, disaster and the actual fate you'll be sure to meet. You're a rap murder G who tries to murder everything but can't even murder beats. See, in this battle shit, we both got habits. Mine's trees, getting me green like it's cabbage. Yours G is drinking, bringing in grief to your marriage, fucking up your whole relationship. See, I come through, I think I'm faded, fuck. I drank a couple beers and now I can't even remember rapping my raps and shit, so I'm doing the straight freestyle. 
Who in the fuck is this guy trying to kid, fool? You talking about he drank some fucking beers? I did too. <laughs> Should catch AIDS, get cancer, and should die. Then come back to life and relive it all over again so it can happen twice. But the second time, I wanna be in your deathbed acting like I give two fucks when in reality I just wanna pack his wife. I'm just waiting for him, waiting for him to go to the afterlife so I can hold his girl console and take it to the pad and back all night. <laughs> it's one thing I don't get. How the fuck this guy come to this event trying to act hard, showing off those white bars, thinking those would be embarrassing me? Nah, if anyone should be embarrassed, the parents should be, because apparently they're ready to be as scared as can be. Stubborn in the now, just want to sit to their feet. Fuck being raised, if you want it from your neck to your feet. I never ride a race too hard, until your head, all the nonsense that you speak, or cease to annoy noise. Fuck you, and fuck your wrestling and beef. You can ride in peace instead. Once this bitch is dead, his mom, his brother, his sister, kids gonna regret the shit they did to him. His chick gonna wish he lived again so she could hug and kiss his lips. And tell him how much you miss him. How much you miss and respected him. And we know it's a fucking lie because she just had sex with your bestest friend. And right after the fucking funeral, took him to the crib and then got in the sheets and had sex again. Time. <laughs> Everything's twice, alright? Double down, double down. There's only a few ills I'm familiar with in this battle shit. This ill-fated, illiterate, and illegitimate. There ain't no real ill I'm dealing with. Your skill ill, I really feel you should have been building it. See, most real cats listen to shit and you, they ain't really feeling it. Me, I'm on that Russell Wilson. I ain't showed you shit, still, still you ain't seen what my ceiling is. Still killing it. <laughs> See, at the end of the day, you get the chance to say, Fool, yeah, I got my shit pushed in real good. <laughs> you see anybody with the bulldog hat, you turn into a bench warmer and start riding the wood. You really think your shit's good? Only your boys think your shit's good. Probably another attempt to rep your hood. It's <laughs> all you. Round three is on your faded. This motherfucker is really having me annoyed. He's saying the only people that are like my shit is my homies. Then everyone right here must be my boys. <laughs> Check it out. I so wish that these rounds were longer than 60 seconds. Okay, three women in rounds suffice because if I'm mad afterwards, I'll just catch you after the battle and beat you senseless. And it's not that I need attention. It's just for the past three weeks, I've been needing to relieve this tension. And for me, to make me bleed to death. It's just on the way for me to release aggression. I bet you the people here thought I was going to leave with weak and pressure. But instead, I'm going to leave the event with one of these. And indeed, I do a lot of AEDG. They're going to leave respected. Uh, that wasn't even my bet. Because if it was, you'd be full of misery and depression. Grew up in a fetal position. Took it in your thumb, pretending it was the guy's penis that was erected. <laughs> After this, this girl's gonna be on my dick for sure. After this, we hop in the whip, go to the crib, have any course, I'm gonna bash that shit to Lincoln's store. Once I'm done, I'm gonna slap and kick the whore out the freaking door. And if you wanna trip more, Lord, I'm gonna bang you over and fuck you in the ass over the cactus and Reninja sword. <laughs> Give it up for my homie though, it's his first battle, man. Give him yeah. a